You're watching another Nerd Stalker event update. The number four. This one was interesting. Uh, it's called interest. But usually people, what they do with this one, I think most of the stuff I ever read or the self-help stuff that I, you know, take uh, little bites here and there of, you know, kind of say that you want to be a more balanced life. Now, but your take on this was really interesting when I read it because it was more of it adds possibly to your career if, if some of the interest you know, you have some learning from your interests, right? Well, uh, yeah. I mean, supposing you're trying to carry on a conversation with people, and all you know, all you know is your business, <laughs> right? What are you going to talk about? <laughs> After a while, you might sound a little bit boring. <laughs> you know, you can't talk about a book. You can't talk about your hobbies because you don't have any. You can't talk about a trip you took because you don't take them. You can't talk. <laughs> you can't talk about these unique. Things you might have learned, whether it was you know clowning or martial arts or or I mean I've done all of those, but I mean, you know those things. But when your family says, "Gee, you're boring," because all you do is work and you don't have anything else to talk about, and you go to a party and you're sitting off in the corner, but you know, and and you're really independent, you know, in, in that corner, and you don't you don't interact well with people. Uh, after a while, you know, those things kind of catch up to you if you're not careful, and and your goal is to to not be totally a, a bore of people, and to, and to try to uh, have a a relationship more than just okay, I need you to give me some money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, we talked about networking offline, right? And 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 to really do some effective networking is to actually, you know, find out a little bit more about the other person, but also tell them about you as well, right? Well, it's it is. I mean, you know, one of one of the things people uh, and I this is I was telling you this story just before. Is as I was teaching a class over at university for someone, and and we covered startups and we also covered uh, thinking agile. And I was uh, trying to relate to this group who just did or had no interest in startups, and they were talking about business, and they thought that it was going to be totally irrelevant to them. So I started talking about startups and everything associated with it and I started then translating that into how you make use of what I was describing for getting a job. All of a sudden their eyes got really big. <laughs> so I started talking about networking. Well, networking to some people is you give me, you know, I come out to you with a handful of gimme. <laughs> <As a, laughs> I'm going to meet you but I expect you to give me everything, right? Yeah. And it's like as, as you don't have anything to give them. And networking isn't all about that. It's about meeting people and growing and, and developing them. And they say, well, you know, how do I get to meet the really great people I need to meet? I says, start with the people in this room. One of them is going to be the CEO of something one day. If you've got them in your database, you're going to have met them. <laughs> right, right. If you track them and you monitor them. Um, and I said, so the guy said, well, I want to get a job down in Texas. And he said, we're in North Carolina. And he says, well, that's, that's great. He said, how do I meet people in Texas? How do I network? I said, okay, everybody in this room, there's like 30 people in the room, everybody in this room that has a friend in Texas, raise your hand. Half the room raise your hand. And I says, ask them who their friend is. <laughs> Go right, call them right, and talk right. to them on the phone. <laughs> Get started there. These people will know people in Texas. Your goal isn't to go meet the CEO of some major corporation to start with. Is you work your way up and meet people, and over time, some of those will be very close and good contacts. And people just don't use the networking aspect in the way that would be would be the most beneficial to them. Mm, yeah, no, I agree. And, and he actually, you know, if 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 you haven't caught Taffy's, uh, you know, website, he his uh, his interest is photography. Yeah, I've developed that over the last, uh, you know, five years maybe. No. I decided gee, I would like to do some stuff, and I really got interested and started reading a lot of books and doing photography. It used to be martial arts, but I, you know, after a while, I burned up broken bones and noses and stuff like that. You know, it gets old. <laughs> Wow, I didn't even know about the martial arts thing. Wow. No, no, I had a black belt. I have a black belt, and I used to train professional fighters, and uh, you know, and and full contact, uh, that kind of stuff, and uh, and so yeah, I, I did that, and I boxed in college, so yeah, I used to do all that stuff. And you wanted to be a clown. Wow, this is. I, I, well, actually, I did clowning uh, for the kids when they were much younger, and I balloon sculptures, magic. I used to do that part time for kids. Um, I had fun doing it. It was it was really a lot of fun, and and I'd done it for some uh, you know for some uh, hospital uh, for for like kids that were in cancer wards and things like that. And I've gone to some some other venues where I've done it, and and I always enjoyed it. But then when I started looking at what it would be to become a professional clown, it says that's tough. <laughs> yeah. But now, now you have something you could talk to me offline with. <laughs> God, I gotta get that story from you. Okay. <laughs> 